The Bundy Ranch situation just will not go away. Thankfully, we're not talking about his racist comments, but the people who have organized and gathered around him, the militia members, are making life a living hell for the people who live in that area of Nevada. Uh, Representative Stephen Hordsford, uh, he's a Democrat, who represents that area, wrote a letter to the Clark County Sheriff Doug Gillespie asking him to investigate the militia members. Here's what he said. I am writing to bring your attention to the ongoing situation in northeastern Clark County, which has caused many of my constituents to fear for their safety. Residents in the area have expressed concern over the continual presence of multiple out-of-state armed militia groups that have remained in the community since Bundy's dispute with the Bureau of Land Management came to a boil. So basically, they've been setting up checkpoints where residents are required to prove that they live in the area uh, and before they allow them to pass. And they've also been maintaining a presence, sometimes armed, along highways and roads and at sites like churches and schools. And I think that if you live in Nevada, the last thing you want is a bunch of psychotic militia members from around the country who have organized to engage in violence against the federal government, going to your churches and going to your schools and bringing their high caliber so weapons. So outside of minorities, um, who are they trying to keep from coming in, you know, coming into our area? Maybe journalists, perhaps, people who are going to counter protest against them. But so I don't think that doing. I need to remind most of you watching this that just because you call yourself a militia member and just because because you own, you know, like a Mini 14 or something, does not mean that you get to stop cars. You have no jurisdiction in Nevada. You have no right whatsoever to question uh, American citizens' rights to move around the state they live in. Get the fuck out of there and go home. Annoy people back in, you know, in Wisconsin, Minnesota, where, Pennsylvania, state, wherever you're from. That's right. It's even worse. Yeah. So this, whenever it comes the argument of they're going to take away our guns, take away our rights, these are the type of rights, these are the type of gun rights that a lot of these people, of course, I know you're a gun guy, at least as far as, like, cool with being it, but I like the technology. But I mean, yeah, exactly. And the thing is, there's a coolness to them. But this is what they want their guns for. Because they can't just stop people randomly, lawlessly, and do this unless they have gun over their shoulder like a fucking terrorist would. Yeah. They don't understand this looks just like terrorism. This, this scene could be out of, out of a, a, a terrorist-stricken country in the Middle East. Yeah. It's amazing, but you know, we're fighting terrorists here. Yeah, and, and by the way, unless they have like the advantage of numbers or something, if one or two of them are going around and stopping cars in Nevada, I think the almost inevitable outcome is that another country-ass Nevada guy with a rifle is going to be like, oh, you're stopping me. And then we're going to yeah, have a shootout on the exactly. highway. That's wonderful. Exactly. Going back to the Wild West.